Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to the Enterprise Campaign Mission 3, Bypass Send. Hey, uh, hello everyone. Now, before we start, um, I would just like to briefly say a few words. Uh, very recently, um, one of our fellow members and friend, Tanky, sadly lost his father. Uh, his dad, as Tanky explained to us, was an inspiration to him in many ways and uh, is a big reason behind what makes Tanky the man he is today. Um, after spending time with, with Tanky, I'm sure we can all agree we're very glad that's the case. Uh, so, in remembrance, uh, I would like to dedicate this mission to his father's memory. And I'm sure uh, wherever his dad is now, he is like us having a good time amongst friends. Very good. So, here, here. with that said, um, my apologies, but we must begin. So, welcome everyone to Mission 3 of the 1988 Persian Gulf based Enterprise Campaign. These missions are based on a fictional continuation of the Praying Mantis operation and see a U.S. supercarrier-led naval task force facing off against Iran. The campaign is dynamic, as I mentioned before, and your next mission options will depend on your actions today, success or failure. Uh, so before we start the mission, I would just like to remind everyone that in all likelihood, uh, due to the complexity of the mission, it may well overrun. Uh, my apologies for this, but the opportunity of a deep strike and this revenge for our Black Lions uh, presented itself, and I really wanted to give the Black Lions a chance to get that revenge after what happened two days ago and the loss of all their uh, pilots. Those wishing to make sure they stay within 90 minutes this time should probably choose an F-18 or a Mirage slot as they may finish sooner. Still, uh, there shouldn't be an issue with a debrief on time while the last flights make it back for landing. I would also like to thank everyone for your enthusiasm and very useful feedback after the last mission in this campaign. Uh, this is very important for mission makers like myself, and in this case, uh, it has spurred me on to make the missions even better, and I hope you enjoy this one. So, a lot has happened uh, behind the scenes uh, since the last mission, so it's time to get into it. Situation report. So, after the disastrous attacks of uh, two days ago, 21st of April, and the loss of dozens of US Marines, along with a large number of rotary and fixed-wing assets, Battlegroup Ent Enterprise Command has called off the assaults on the islands of Siri and Abu Musa, and they, those islands have been leveled instead. They are, as of today, effectively unusable as a basis for Iran, and the loss of their oil producing capacity and reserves will surely hurt the regime. Our current president, Ronald Reagan, has assured us that we have his total support and has in instructed us to take whatever measures necessary to put Iran back in its box and pacify the Gulf. With tensions against the Soviet Union across the, uh, the, the world at a new height, the last thing the US wants is to appear weak and while our other fleets around the world are needed to keep pressure on the Soviets, um, he trusts us to get the job done here. As to why Iran's defenses were so well prepared that night, this investigation is now priority number one. A boat was seen leaving uh, our island of Abu Niyar soon after the attacks were launched. Uh, there is now a manhunt underway for Ahmed Ali, a UAE military attaché who was embedded with our fleet. Ali is thought to be in hiding somewhere in downtown Dubai, Sharjah area, and after a detailed briefing from the UAE Interior Ministry, we have learned that there is a sizable amount of people here who have sympathies with Iran, or at least disdain for the current monarchy and its ties with the West. It is believed they would wish to see an Iran-backed military coup and a pan-Gulf alliance to reject the West and its mostly Sunni allies. The UAE Armed Forces unsure of some of its officers' loyalties, has asked us to help in tracking down and interrogating Ali and any of his accomplices. They hope that we might be able to locate a possible dissident training base and destroy it before they can carry out more acts of sabotage and terrorism. Successful cooperation with the UAE can only be good for the US in the region in the long term, and so we have named this operation Eastern Promise. We have been given a naval base to use while Operation Dubai is underway, and though the locals have otherwise been generous uh, with, with a possible insur insurrection brewing, we'll need to be wary. As a further gesture of goodwill and sympathy for losses of two days ago, the UAE AF themselves having suffered at the hands of uh, the Iran Air Force in the past, and they have agreed to attach their newly assembled Elite 71st Squadron, uh, their brand new Mirage 2000 fighters, to aid our operations. And these will be needed to assist in our Black Lion's revenge strike on the Iran F-14 base. Our pilots will be avenged. So to today, we have split our theater into two sectors, uh, north and south. North will be payback. The Black Lions have politely requested an opportunity to avenge their fallen comrades, and this has been granted. The CIA have tracked down the location of the Iranian F-14 squadron that caused us so much damage the last time. They have been uh, moved to Karman province, presumably to guard against a possible strike. Uh, due to the distance involved, but we will not be deterred. 
we have captured a number of Iranian Air Force transponders and installed them on our Tomcats. After a study of the codes using the Iran IFF system, we believe we can fool their air defense long enough to make the 300-mile journey, bomb their one squadron back to the Stone Age and get back in one piece. Once the bombs drop, the alert will be given, uh, but our Crusaders will have been conducting strikes in the meantime, attritioning air defense systems and weapons to make sure you guys can get back. Our new allies, the UAEF 71st uh, Squadron, has their own axe to grind and will be taking the fight to the Iran Air Force with gusto, which will provide us with more air cover. Coordination will be required, uh, but we believe we have the means and the will to carry out the strike and put Iran down. While this payback is underway in the south, the manhunt for the traitor Ahmed Ali is underway. So to the map, the tactical overview, uh, you'll see an overview of the geography, of the location uh, of key assets and targets. Um, we have gained reinforcements and allies, new airfields. Uh, to the north, we have Ras al Kalma and Fujaira. But we are underta undertaking a very risky operation, and today your skills will be tested severely. Um, on to the taskings for today. There are four main tasks today. Um, I'll just walk you through them now. Task A will be air superiority uh, against uh, the Iran Air Force, and the uh, UEAF is charged with flying patrol and engage and destroy Iran QRF and any reinforcements. Their threats will be Iranian MiG-29s, F-4s, F-5s, and F-7s, the local MiG-21. Task B will be Siad Diyad, and this will be done by the Crusaders, played by the Hornets today. Their targets will be the SAMs, uh, AAA and radar and defenses um, along the route that the F-14s will take uh, in their ingress and egress uh, against um, the strike on Kerman airfield. Task C uh, will be that very same strike, the low-level flight into Iran and bombing of Kerman Air Base while the F-14s are still on the tarmac. And then uh, lastly, up D will be Operation Eastern Promise and the rotary flights. Um, they will be charged with uh, hunting down this uh, terrorist Ahmed Ali and bringing him to justice, uh, gathering intel on the location of an enemy camp and destroying it if possible. Uh, time and weather, uh, it is uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, 16.30. Uh, mostly clear skies, some broken clouds with a base of 12,000 feet. A very slight wind, uh, direction 176. Uh, restrictions, the usual restrictions uh, of 1988 time uh, apply and the same respawn conditions. So should your chopper get damaged, for example, you can land it safely and await rescue from another chopper. The, um, also, the rotary task today uh, will also lend itself very well to multi-crew, so gunners and navigators will be needed. Um, I say that if so, if you are shot down, if you die, if you crash, then um, I would recommend multi-crew, very much needed today. And I would also say that as we are still in the early stages of multi-threading, should you get a game crash, uh, please spawn back in, perhaps switching to you know to a single thread if that happens. Um, fixed wing takeoff order. So uh, number one will be Ford 1, Ford 2. The uh, UAE Mirages will take off first at the same time as Devil Flight, the, uh, well, the uh, A7s played by the Hornets today from the carrier followed by Hawk and lastly Enfield. So the idea is that uh, Enfield, the strike flight, will take off while everything is, is kicking off. So that'll be a nice diversion for them to sneak in under the radar, literally. Um, taskings then to the tabs. Uh, the first one, air superiority. Uh, so as mentioned above, we've been joined by the Elite 71st uh, Fighter Squadron of the UAEF, who have just received and been qualified for Mirage 2000s. So, pilots of the UAE, your task will be to attract, aggravate, and attrition the Iranian Air Force with a view to reducing their qualified pilot numbers, as well as to take attention away from our strike and air defense suppression. Um, you have lost comrades to Iranian incursions in your territory. Now is your chance for payback. Your aircraft and missiles are a match for anything the Iranians might have. With MiG-29 and their 27Rs, your biggest threat. Um, so it's all down to you now and your skill. Your waypoints are indicated on the map. Uh, they're in front of you and you have been entered into your flight computers. So you'll be patrolling between waypoints two and three. Um, be aware there is a Shorad threat on the islands of Tum, a small and a greater one, um, as well as Rapier and Hawk sites close to the Iranian coast. So keep your height, keep your distance um, until they have been dealt with. Iran also has some naval assets uh, in the uh, harbor area of Bandar Abbas. So best uh, keep your distance from that. You start off from Ras al-Kalma. 
uh, with uh, Fujaira as your emergency divert. Um, keep in mind that these two airfields are single runway and have very limited taxi facilities, so be, uh, follow your procedures. There are two tankers available in the area uh, should you need to extend your uh, combat range. Um, next, uh, next tab B, uh, C, C, D, D. So, well, the seven. Well, the 71st is doing its thing uh, to your front and hopefully fulfilling their end of the bargain. You'll be taking off and engaging Iran radars and air defense systems located on your waypoints. Your suggested flight plan is to climb to altitude uh, on, after takeoff, Angels 30, um, saturating Iran point defense and trackers with the salvo of the newly developed AGM 141A tiled munitions before following that up roughly to uh, three or five minutes uh, later with a salvo of harm missiles. This makes it sound straightforward, but let me assure you, uh, it'll be anything but. Iran is far from stupid, and they are now employing dummy or mock radars at various sites to protect their main batteries and deceive your missiles. All the while, enemy cap flights will be closing down on you from different directions. I get so, you need, I get so you need to keep clear heads and show out about uh, So uh, to continue, so enemy cap will be closing down on you from different directions you'll need to keep clear heads and show determination to see this through. Once the uh, track radars are, are down, focus on potential short-range threats to the returning Enfield flight, um, like Shorad, or possibly the frigates in harbor. You're free to tell her your loadout should you prefer Mavericks uh, for this, but AGM-62 walleyes have a longer range, um, so they'll be the recommendation today. Uh, your Waypoint 5 is an air defense CNC center with a multitude of systems and radars, so this is a priority target. Um, so you can adjust loadouts in accordance with restrictions to what you're comfortable with. Um, just please coordinate with your fellow flights. And there we go. So on to the strike next. So uh, Black Lions, Tomcats, uh, you have requested revenge on the Iranian elite squadron and their ace who shot down your squadron mates two days ago. Well, today your wish has been granted. While all the aff aforementioned air operations are going on, you should have an opportunity to make your way safely into Iran airspace. Flying low and fast, you will strike at the heart of the Iran Air Force and get your own back. Intelligence reports uh, state that Iranian F-14s have been instructed to report to Karman Air Base, far from the front lines. We suspect they guessed we might plan a reprisal. We think Karman is reachable and thus bombable. Our CAA colleagues have equipped your aircraft with the uh, Iranian transpon transponders and that should give off a friendly signal to any Iranian forces who try and ID you. As well as this, you'll be traveling with your radar off under 1000 AGL at all times. So set your altimeter warning beep accordingly uh, and fly in a loose uh, echelon, the standard Iranian uh, formation. And you also carry Iranian paint uh, schemes on your air airplanes. So should you be spotted visually, momentarily, this substitute may well work, especially considering people will be expecting Tomcats to be traveling near or on approach to Kermit. The difficulty comes with what to do if radioed and challenged on your approach. Well, without risk, there's no reward and you have to figure this one out for yourselves. However, we have done what we could and we equipped you with what we think are likely phrases or code responses. Um, so if challenged on your approach to Kerman, you will have to radio in what you feel is the right response. This will appear in your F-10 menu at the appropriate time. Hopefully by that time, you'll be lining up your bombs over that damn base and pilot quarters. Speaking of which, uh, you'll need to stay close during the flight to simulate standard Iran flight patterns, uh, but also as you approach target. You do not want to give any 60mm uh, aerial artillery time to line up on you as you overfly their main airbase. Uh, so suggested flying flight plan is to get off burner as soon as you can after your takeoff. Um, flight lead should head to waypoint 1, uh, roughly 1000 ASL. Um, this is important to keep this um, sort of altitude so the other flights, um, the Hornets and the Mirages know it's you and not the enemy. At 300 knots, uh, IAS, allow the, the whole flight to form up on you and then go 90% throttle to 500 knots indicated airspeed for your cruising speed. Uh, you'll need to go to full mill occasionally to go over the hills, uh, to, but in order to stay under 1,000 feet AGL, you'll likely need to do a nose up and roll over uh, on the uh, low-lying low hills. Um, flying this long over desert can play tricks on you, so you'll need to stay sharp. Um, so you should be arriving with uh, roughly 10,000 pounds of fuel um, as you line up on target. Um, you should have uh, 8,000 pounds to get back, and then that'll leave you with 2,000 pounds to play with. 
uh, which isn't much. Uh, so keep that in mind and limit your burn time. This is very important. So uh, try not to get engaged in, in anything. Uh, fight your way through if you have to, uh, but don't get into any dog fights. Uh, once your bombs fall, it's going to be like Sam Ali uh, all over again. So stay low and fast. Use a jammer, countermeasures. Um, so as I mentioned, you're equipped with AIM-9s, uh, but these are for last resort only. And definitely do not try and engage any air. Uh, should you be in need, as you make your way back to the carrier, there's a recovery tanker orbiting the Enterprise at 6,000 feet. And that's uh, the details are indicated in the sheet. Okay, lastly, uh, task D, Operation Eastern Promise, the rotary flights. Um, so we have received intel uh, and are closing in on the Emir Emirati uh, dissident and traitor Ahmed Ali, the uh, former military attaché who betrayed our night assault to Iran two days ago. Your job will be to raid certain locations uh, in the downtown Dubai and Sharjah area with a view to capturing and bringing in Ali for questioning. He'll be trying to make his way to Iran most likely, so you'll need to be quick. We won't have much time before he gets away. So listen for communications from Mission Control as you receive new intel on his location. Bring him back to our drop point at Dubai Naval Base for questioning. Uh, we need to know the location of the compound and the Iranian Quds forces have infiltrated and are training their potentially terrorists in good hunting. Um, you can see the one to seven locations here indicated on the sheet. So familiarize yourself with those and you'll have to plan your flights and agree on a coordinated plan to make sure you uh, drop your troops at all these targets. And with that, my briefing will end. The UAEAF Mirage's unexpected LO bypass Harath, Fighting Red Cox, Crusaders Cap Simba Chopsticks, and Chef Jackal Stoat, Tomcats, the brave, brave Tomcats undertaking this. Sock with Gans, Jigsaw Bean Tanky, um, Gazelles, Arty Lucky Bendy, Me8, Poosh Tuxor Red, uh, UH1s, Kelso Shrak Bull Blight. Viewers, in case you weren't listening to the briefing, it was a rather long briefing, um, our F 14s have been painted. Red, looks like we have uh, all the sheet light on through Roger. Roger have been painted in a fake Iranian livery to help get through the defences um, because it's a long-range infiltration stealth mission. We're pretending to be Iranian viewers. Simba, um, we've got towels on. We've got two harms and six towels. Do you reckon that's sensible? Guys, are the tom who's coming up first? We're going up before the Tomcats, right? Because we're clearing the way. Devil, that's Simba, and Chopsticks. Cats, one, two, and three, go. Uh, I didn't fuel because I didn't have any fuel. Uh, where's the fuel? Oh, sweet! I've got no fuel either! Um, I think. Well spotted, by the way. Is this a bug where the guy keeps saying, hey, what are you doing when you're not even moving? Um, oh, this guy is, is doing the signs, but he's not pointing at me. That's odd. I think it's because the ship's moving. <laughs> <laughs> Plant lifting. Right, young man. Woo! The ground crew are operating, but they're facing the wrong direction. They must think I'm really ugly because they won't look at me. Or are disrespecting me. Nice. <laughs> so this guy's got a freaking attitude, viewers. Who does he think he is? Care Director. Hello Fighting Red Cox. Hello Fighting Red Cox. Is that Simba and Break Chopsticks next to me? I am Simba taxiing to the catapult. Alright, let's work out how to do all this again, viewers. Can you remember how to do it? I'm pulling up on Cat 2. Sequence, waypoint, show waypoint. Easy. It's all easy, viewers. Designed for silly pilot. Oh, look at that already. Go Fighting Red Cox. Hawk flyer taking off already, yo. We're way behind. I bet they forgot to refuel. <laughs> I've got the most special refuel ever. He just puts like a hundred thousand litres in and then stops. <laughs> <laughs> what a knob. At least your guy faces you. My guy won't even look at me. HB9 fighting red cop. Okay, I've refueled and rearmed, and we better go, Simba, because. Uh, we're blocking up the cats now. Guys, I'm going to take off and get in the left orbit. Do a thing. What's up with F-14 if we crash into the JPD again? Um, 
<laughs> that was quite cool, right? The Mirage is on an intercept course uh, towards uh, bandits, uh, Asian males. <laughs> Low left orbit, guys. Oh, assuming we don't hit this uh, boat in front of us. Come on, Simba Wimba. You are going to hit that boat, you know, Simba. You're actually going to hit that boat. Oh, I've got to watch this. I've got to watch I this. I probably will. It's really not getting out of the way. <laughs> not getting out of the way, you say? Well, you're going to be the first one to get hit. Wow. <laughs> well, this is a good it's a good start to a mission, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of standard for us. Yep, that's going to hit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sheep! Brace, brace, brace. <laughs> get ready to eject. Oh, boys. They try so hard. But I told you to hurry up. KIA. Yeah, Simba! Oh, we almost hit that bust! Right, well done boys. I'm very proud of you guys. New heading of break 050. Climbing at uh, some climb rate. I'll see you there. Huh, that was interesting. By which I mean it was interesting. Long way to go, so no burning today. I took away a helmet fight. God damn it. 1988 saw fit not to have a Jumux. I wasn't around, so that's okay. It's your excuse for everything. 5,000 feet. Obviously, you two are fat and slow and struggling, so I'm going to slow down for a bit. I'm going to be fine. Mirage is engaged. Uh, Big 21's over Kassab. Always a fight, and I'm ready. <laughs> oh boy, they're rushing the city. Yes, they are. That's a wrong choice for an air superiority fighter. Look at that, they're going to get smashed by the MiGs. Uh, two and three are saddled. We'll go around them. I don't really want to help them today, guys. You're both saddled. I'm so proud. Happy Kai, eh? Watching on the SA, those mirages get smashed. How embarrassing for them. They should have chosen F-16s. Yeah, I want to be, I'm a red cock, and cocks like display their feathers, so I wanted to be like a real red cock, guys. Is this fair? Yeah, I'm sure they're cock pride. What's the internet saying I'm a cock, so, you know, let's play the friggin' role, boys. I didn't see that happening, that's sarcasm by the way. Is that correct? 
Yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Okay, I'll expedite. They killed the mix, finally. Right, how do you do that then? Pang. Pang, 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 pang. Please tell me it was my tanks that dropped and not my touts. It was just your tanks. Oh, it's a hero. Okay boys, the skies are green and clear. Simba, regain formation. Guys, if the SAM rings on the SA screen are green, does that mean they're friendly? Or just that they're green? Just means they're there. Huh. Anyone know where the which ones are the Tomcats on the um, SA screen? Chef, can you hear me on this freak? Chef, cat. I think it's getting all off. Simple, Chef. Is that you guys entering a SAM ring on the SA screen? We're about to enter the SAM ring in uh, one minute. Roger. Tomcats, cap. Go, cap. Have you guys left the carrier yet? Yes, we did. Guys, why do you think we don't see the Tomcats on the SA? It's kind of important that we do. Maybe they have turned on. They may not have turned their data link on. Huh, that's silly of them. Okay, Chef's boys have just started uh, entering the SAM ring, so they're starting to do their first boom boom, wham wham. Right, I set my radar to four bars, 40 miles, and brake. 60 degrees, how does that sound for an old 1980s radar? About right? Yeah, I don't know what you're going to do with it, because you're aim 7. Well, I figured um, I'd lock something just before I got shot down by a Siberian missile. That's good, that's true, that's good, good choice. <laughs> right, our tiny little eco savers are starting to run out of power, guys, so we're going to start levelling off right here. Still no Tomcats on the screen. Either that or I'm using it wrong. Baddy in front of us, about 100 and something miles. We're gonna have to fight him, by the way. Uh, that's if he turns in, they are on a cat patrol up this way. Looks like Chef's prosecuting. Viewers, not really a lot to do now. Chef's destroying the Sams, as you can see. The Tomcats, we still don't know where they are. Possibly gone the wrong way. First turn, it's inside of 80. Yup. Uh, you're talking about the SAD, the SA3 or the Baddy Waddy? SA3. Alright then. Start arming up them ground weapons. Good point. I'm on TOO with a harm ready for Boom Boom, I think. And I've already found it. Emitter on the nose, boys. Search radar locked, P19 locked. And hand it off. Waiting for launch. I don't want to be that guy, but how do I know when to fire? We don't have range, we don't have range markers, do we? Where's this? I guess I have to care. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, 1990s technology. Um, okay, fine. Simba, can you re get ready to go air to air? That fighter's just seen us. Oh, we do know how far it is, guys. It's right above waypoint two. 60 miles. What's our range? About 50 miles? 40 miles? That's optimistic, but yeah. Sweet, make about 20 miles. So, do we know if Simba's going to go and attack that guy or not? I didn't get a response. I don't know what to do. Hey, I'm here to air. Chap, you plan to burn before you fire or not? No, I don't think we can afford the fuel. I think we'll just, um... We'll just get nice and close. 
regards to engaging that guy, I suggest firing at super long range to turn him cold and get the initiative. Because he'll probably have better weapons than us. Okay, um, see our pair, let's bracket left away from the fighter. Simba, you can bracket right. Simba's going right. 40 miles to Sam. Ignore that spike, that's not the shot. This is actually a guideline, it's not an SA3. Still a piece of shit though. Alright. is painted. Watch out, fire as soon as you can. Okay, drop, let's head in for the shot. Roger, I've got the two lock because you've got the S. Roger, yep, let's do that. Actually, I'll take that back, the S is gone anyway, so the two will take the two. That'll be the fan song anyway. S is back. Huh. I've got them both painted at 29 miles. I can only get the two, by the way. Alright, I've got the S. Okay. Do you want to wait for E to shoot and then split S out? Yep. Uh, we'll set oh, we'll set firing range minimum is 20 miles. Five miles to go. Simba, make sure you're shooting that guy. Four miles. I'm launched on. How you go? Magnum and out. Cat, Magnum fan song. Cold. Good full split S. Progress Simba. Box two. We've got the attention of the guy line. Cap going there to head back Simba up. We're looking for you, Simba. Oh, G130 splash. Oh. Oh, well, we didn't know what it was, did we? Come and join us. Uh, let's regain formation. I am at the line. Okay, let's get up to 30,000 feet, guys. Shack P19. Nice. We need the fans. I think we need the fan song down. Does anyone know? The fan song's a track radar, I know. Can it operate without a search? You might as well kill it. Alright, I'm turning back to engage the guideline. Uh, Angel 19, turning back in. Uh, we have another site to hit. Do you want me to send a harm at this? Which one? The, the six or the two? Have a get S's. I guess so, yeah. I don't know, yeah, I don't know which one you're on ready, but yeah. I was going to say he'd be dead now if it wasn't. Yeah. That said, he's not pointing towards it, so um, I'm going to I'm going to go for it, clear it up, just in case. You know, it's active. It's 100% active. I have a HK. Okay, I'm handed off and ready to fire. I'm going to shoot that. I think I'm down or not. Uh, I'm shot off. Okay, I'm going to shoot that at the one thirty down. I'm shot on. I shot one of them down. I'm away. It was a baddie C-130. There's one still up. Yeah, I had to split past him. He seemed pretty harmless. Cap evasive. I got a little bit out there. Thank you. You got, you got the towel, me, and Tim up between you and the... Uh, so it'd be bloody amazing if I died then, but it is me. I got it, I got it, um, it's down, the uh, fan song. Nice. Alright guys, waypoint three, let's go and get SA6. Cutting symbol marking at 32. Roger. Let's head straight in guys, is there a vector or break? What, 350, 350, get your arms ready. Need for power on. We should have taken more arms guys, these decoys are rubbish. Select the waypoint, it will tell you the distance to it then. Let's try and find just one missile at it at a time, guys. Save missiles. Hey, which one do you want me to uh, go for? There's a S for the box and an S without a box. They're both just search radar. Right Can you not see the Kube yet? I guess the Kube hasn't fired up. It'd be nice to get the Kube, really. Yeah, wait till you see a 6 and then box it. Get it. Oh, there they are, look. Hey, boys. You guys will be shooting or I'm too low for it. You're not good. Come to a crack if you can find me. Has the coup activated yet, guys? Uh, 
Needham. Sound on a bitch. Bird nails. What about that SA3 to our, uh, whatever that clock that is, 9 o'clock? Uh, we are going to go for that afterwards, that's a waypoint 4. We'll need to use towels on that because that's got SA-15. Sweet, I'll just fire the one towel at this one then, I've got four. Yes. Uh, RT that popped up? Rapier. No, I don't think it's Rapier, is it? Oh, Rapier Track, maybe. I don't know, a guy made a video about it, should go watch it. I wouldn't bother, if I was honest. Wow. <laughs> Well, would that guy in the video have fired at this rapier? No, it doesn't feel right. Um, wait until Coop comes up. What's your um, distance to it? 24 miles to waypoint 3. Confirm it's on the direct heading. Uh, is the search radar on the direct heading of the waypoint 3? Uh, near it. Two. Oh, on that heading. It's going to be the closest search radar. I'll go for the closest search radar on that heading, Simba. Ignore the RT, I don't know what that is. I don't think it's what we want. Oh, I got a six popped up. Hmm. That's the coup. Light him up. Magnum. Woo-wee! All right, wait for a splash before we re-engage. We'll, after that, we'll be engaging waypoint four, uh, a tour. Yeah, don't get too close to it. I'm just following the harm. I'm going to have to get a bit lower, because otherwise the towel will just overshoot it. Huh. Yes, fair comment. Are you doing a fair comment? There's an FC on heading 015. I'm just uh, waiting for your round to hit. Stand by. Uh, ETA. TTI, 10 seconds. That's a dead coop. Two towed out. Track radar still spinning. Coop's alive. Reattack the coop. Simba, I'll go for waypoint 4. Back in. I think it hit a tree just before it. Are you touting waypoint four, uh, chop six? Yep, two tails on it, so make him up. I'm firing, I'm firing now. Oh, that's right. There's no smoke out yet. Uh, Magnum. Hope that hits. Simba Magnum. Caps Magnum is tracking. Coop destroyed. All right, boys, stay above twenty thousand feet. Uh, smoke in the smoke in the air for your towels. Excellent. Yep, and it's perfect timing. It's it's just allowed my uh, little guy to slip through. Okay, I killed a SON-9, but what is a SON-9? Annoyingly, there's still an SA-15 there, guys. Has anyone got a harm left that can take the SA-15 down? I do. Okay, shoot it. We should be litting up now, because shooting at the towns. This will friggin' get him. It's coming in nice and fast. Yeah, Cap, you took that trip away. No, I was watching it. It was a, um, it was a radar. Oh, come on, it missed. It went in too fast and it missed. What the hell? God damn it. Have you got any missiles left? Uh, I've got some towels left. I mean, we can't attack that thing with gun. It's just too powerful. No, we're going to have to skip it, guys. We can't attack that with a gun. We'll have to go and hunt more furtive grounds. Um, it's only a tour and we've wasted most of his ammo on with our towels. Everyone switch waypoint 5. 30,000 feet. Let's go. Should we tell the uh, Tomcats or just let them have some fun? They'll figure it out. When their first guy blows up, and their second guy and their third guy blows up, they'll know. But then it'll be out of ammo, so we're cool. We don't have to worry. Right. <laughs> oh, we've reached the end of our waypoint chain, guys. That's it. There is no more sound. Right, no, we can get it. We can kill the SA-15 with guns, guys. Do a thing. Just don't die or be a knob, basically. Oh, damn it. I was really planning on being a knob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about that. Um, heading with a gun. And on that note, anyone know how to use or select the gun? Uh, uh, add a ground and then click the gun button. <laughs> well, slow down, egghead. I found it. 
I'm gonna shoot your stupid towels off. They're driving me nuts. Get off, knob heads. Slow my dang plane down. Heading in for gun. All sexy. Come on, let's rambo this shit. How about that? I'm right above it. Six thousand, but fuel is the least of our problems. We're attacking a tour with a gun. I see the town, I don't see the launcher. Alright, inside its ring, and that's not code. Huh. Shit, I went to the wrong site and I shot at the wrong site. Other than that, everything is going great. It appears I've um done a thing, viewers. I am getting quite old. Okay, I'm coming now. If we were clever, we would have attacked it at the same time. That would have confused its sensors. Well, you can just use my burning corpse to find it. Nice. That's good attitude. Good work ethic, too. And I won't have to give you a pay rise, because you'll be dead. Survive a bit longer, you don't have to die quite yet. Visual your guns. Man, they're angry. Things are on fire. Is it a tour? Uh, no, just the house. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, GR! Oh, they're real mad. <laughs> Alright, hold off, we're coming. I'm running it from a different angle. Uh, near, the, uh, near the alarm house. Oh, that's visual. Go out further, you're, too, you're, you're going in too close, top six, if that's you. Uh, you might not be you, but... I'm just getting to shoot at me, you, you kill it. All right, I'm running in now. Shock it down. 600 knots ingress. Egress. I missed the fucking thing. Good news is we'll be dead if that tour was still alive, so it's just AAA. Radar guided AAA, guys. My shot, super. You can hit it from a different angle each time, guys. Is it in relationship to the bunkers? Or is it next to that alarm house that was shooting? I'm not sure, Zimba, I think we're at the point of just killing everything down there uh, that looks like a vehicle. Rolling in. Rolling in. Yeah, but no 15 radar at all. Well, sure, we're detected. Shilka, 60%. Can he fire at 60%, guys? I guess we find out. 92%, the house on the left. Yeah, the house can suck with the battle. 143 rounds left. Uh oh, yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? Alright, let's do little tactical snipes, guys. Okay. Should have built those realized, that would have been real sexy. It turns out you were right and I was wrong! How about that, chopsticks? <laughs> Not bad, but I'll take it. Right. Shilk is firing, Shilk is firing. I'm running, I'm running into Runa's day. Don't forget your slab and aim seven if you can double. I'm just gonna get a real close range hit on the Silk, Shilka. Alright. I don't like you, you don't like me, so let's end this. <laughs> oh, come on! House down. Got snipes. Finish it off and go home. Okay, send those 2,000 pounds headed home. Watch out, waypoint one is right next to the uh, tanker. Get 30,000 feet, 40,000 feet. I got the shield down to 97% before I died, guys, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to be operative. Yeah, I don't see coming up now. How much gun ammo have you got? I uh, just got a G23 destroyed for a second one. I've got P19, but what's our uh, back end? Just go to waypoint one and worry about it then. Right, I'm going to go and find out what happened to the Tomcats, guys. They've literally only just left a carrier. Ladies and gentlemen, Tomcats from GR! take out all the same sites. That's really annoying because they've got 300 miles to go. Not only that, they're cruising at 250 knots. Sock, speed up! I thought it's time to get back. Really are, we'll come back again. They look great, but still. 
Yeah, I think the helicopters have captured Muhammad Ali, the singer, and they're dropping him off now. Tuxel Cap. I don't busy, but hello, Cap. No, don't worry about that. Um, have you got Muhammad Ali on board? Negative, we haven't found him yet. Ah, so why are you RTBing? I'm not RTBing, we just, we've just been told to land on this, so that's what I'm doing. Well, we're all watching, so don't mess it up. That doesn't make a good video. <laughs> Look at those skills, viewers! Johnny Tugsaw, all by yourself. I did do, didn't I? Actual internet points. Thank you. Now I've just got to wait for it to tell me what to do next. <laughs> I think we're searching the boat. Huh. Simba com check. Go for Simba. You realise you're dogfighting a MiG, right? I mean, you realise that right now. I would flare right now and do a barrel roll. Okay. Everybody RCB for the hellos and wait instructions. The effect are low. Look at me coming back from the dead to save you, Simba. I've got Ali in my chopper. Well done, Muhammad Ali! Now win the dogfight, Simba. Do your damn job. Shoot, man. Don't let him get into that cloud, it'll beat you. Fuck's sake. Job 6, what are you doing about the MiG situation? I am pretending that it's not there and I'm just crawling back to the carrier. <laughs> You're just like, be aware of the carrier. Shield is stuck up, so make your approaches accordingly. Huh. This doesn't realise he's missing one of his stabs. And we're not going to tell him because we're a little bit cruel like that. Plus, we want him to work harder. That's going to be a manoeuvre kill, maybe, Simba? Oh, he used all his gun up, didn't he? Oh no. Well, it's entertaining for the viewers, at least. Oh, look at him struggle. Flare, 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 Damn it. Simba's down. And he's coming for you, Chopsticks. Wait, it's a MiG-29, isn't it? Yeah, he's much faster than you. Yeah, but I'm at 30,000 feet, so he'll burn all his fuel getting for me, and then I'll win. You're so cunning. Right up until that Fox 2 goes straight to the tail pipe. <laughs> yeah. Tomcats are going to run. Tomcats are... Sock cap. Sock cap. Chopsticks. I, I'm going to have to order you to turn around. The bombcats are about to get killed. Um, go break. Zero, one, three for 25. Bust out and kill the MiG before he kills all the bombers. He's about Angel okay, 6. I'm listening. I can tell them. It's okay. Um, we're, you're running into a fighter, but we've sent a man and he will take him out. So don't worry. Thank you. Due north, 22 miles. Angels 13, hot. So did we literally fly an hour and a half mission and they're only 20 minutes in? Yeah, I know, right? Look at the Tomcat flight run into that bandit, Simba. It's going to be fun. Chop 6, hostile, Angels 14, on the nose, hot. Eight miles, take the shot, man. Fox 1. Woohoo! 
Miss, miss, miss. Can you fly all the way back to the tanker? Four fuel. Uh, one one. You're not making it back. I'm sending you to help the Tomcats, and you'll die a man. Stand by. Intercept two seven zero for six. Deck. Tally. Join their ranks. Six report fuel. Point eight. You like the way they're flying low to be really uneconomical. Yeah, they're also flying really slow as well. It's a bit embarrassing for them to take by that hornet. <laughs> I'm a sock, punch those big engines, baby. One of them's just disconnected as well. One of them's just done 300 miles at 200 knots and disconnected. Ouch. That is commitment to a video. Ladies and gentlemen, GR missions! That's what you're signing up for. <laughs> You'll be happy to know, Chopsticks, your AIM-7 you fired is finally coming down. Up from about 20 minutes ago. I've been realistic. I did leave it on loft, to be fair, but I think it took the piss of it. It really did lock, you know. It went about 300 miles as well. You got some range out of that thing. Is it going to fuse? And it fused! Woo! Do you remember the name of the base you're bombing? Was it Geeroft or Break? Uh oh. It's this one, isn't it? It is. Kerman. You're bombing Kerman. Kerman. I don't want to be that guy, but you've got well over 200 nautical miles to go, and I'm out of time already, so I don't know how this is going to work, but a thing? On the plus side, Ello's just caught up with you. Yeah, Ello's doing some sexy formation flying in front of me. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> they are low, aren't they? Sock is taking chances. Right, lifty. Report fuel state. 0.45. Watch out, and what are you going to do about that? Ah, I don't know, I'm just going to fly along and uh, then crash onto the ground. Sweet! All of my friends are already gone, so... Yeah. You see us in the friggin' afterlife, by which I mean the Discord lobby. Will that be beer? No. Buddy viewers, um, welcome back. They're flying over our waypoint 4 now, which had, the one that killed me, the SA-15, which apparently you're saying has some ammo. Confirm? I uh, cannot confirm, not still alive, but uh, don't know right, about no, the ammo. It will be interesting. It is their symbol, we just couldn't find it. It was just well camouflaged. There's the knobhead that shot me down, look. Hey, knobhead! I hate you. Chopsticks report, fuel state. Uh, not, not five. Not, not five, you got five pounds of gas. Well. How about that? You need a Ford EcoBoost Turbo in there. Oh, God. This mountain looks even better. No, I'm gonna hit the full team! <laughs> Don't do it, F-14. Yeah, they do that. It's doing some weird oscillations. Um, FCS? The helos are getting into formation. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing um, weird Uh-oh. I think uh -oh. it just dumped all the flat. Uh-oh. As it turns out, we didn't take that tour out! Yes, it went for you! You used your life for something! Wow. The tour used its last shot to kill you instead of the F-14s. You should feel a hero! Wanted. Right, you can come into the Discord oh, lobby with us and watch now. Yeah. Welcome back, viewers. They're now entering waypoint, I don't know, something, with an SA6 radar that we thought we took out. In fact, you said you did blow it up, didn't you, Simba? But apparently it's still got a search track radar here that is very much not blown up. So, this is going to be a problem for them. I feel like Dampy said the meat's all out in front of him. So also has got some killer MI8 cows coming for him. Ten miles away. Socky walkie. 
Don't know whether the coop seen him or not. Yeah, the coop's seen him. The coop just moved. Uh oh, he's getting spiked, so he'll know it. Is he low enough? What do you reckon, guys? Launches are moving. Hmm. Launch just got bugged. That is very lucky. Run and socky walky. Maybe it can't see him. It'll wait till they go past and then shoot. No, that would just be cruel. I see the STR that you did kill, Simba. Your track radar he might turned. Get shot by the gun. Oh, <laughs> shoot me down. A farmer with a shotgun. Oh, sock. They escaped that one. I don't know how, but they did. Oh, and they've got the killer MI8s now. That's the main problem now. They've got pictures of guns on them. That that would be that would do plenty of damage. It'd be awkward if they flew into them. Hmm. <laughs> Still 100 miles to freaking go. And Damp absolutely refuses to go fast. I mean, how can you even go slow in the Tomcat? It's really hard. Aha, some action. Someone's about to accidentally run into the MI8s. It'd be much more fuel efficient if you had these wings swept. Come on, Ello. See them. Hello, two o'clock, one mile. Nose. That wasn't two a bloody clock. Hello, fuck's sake. Hello, merge. Literally, he's looking everywhere except the place where the baddies are. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Increased coffee. Increase coffee. Here he goes. He was teasing us. He was just teasing us. <laughs> Smashed him. Yum. <laughs> we got the killer MI8s, kinda. Not really. Oh, lot of burner for some helicopters. I did think that, Simba. Well, it can be very dramatic, though. We all know this. Oh, missile incoming. Oh, 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 oh. six. No, it finally woke up. Hello, why? My beautiful, beautiful hello, the MA8s. I knew they would win. Oh, that didn't really work out as planned, guys. They are now defenseless. Muhammad Ali is five miles from target, guys. Just saying. I uh, did not see that, Dan, did you? Yeah, that was rather unfortunate. Whoa! I know. <laughs> Can anyone see the problem with Tuxor's wings? Because I found the problem with Tuxor's wings. Just saying. Helicopters running in on base. Someone keep an eye on the F-14s. Okay, Muhammad Ali has arrived. Shoot stuff. Get some. Good shooting. Nice. They're smashing that base up, guys. Look at that! It's such a lovely little chopper. over that brigand base, guys. Oh! oh. <laughs> Distant Simba. Uh 
or bit. Oh, the MI8 died. Muhammad Ali is dead. And my game crashed. Ha <laughs> ha! No. I guess that's the end of Mr. Muhammad Ali. I had already dropped him off at the base earlier. Oh, alright. He's tied up in a bathtub. Um. Yeah. Well, let's go to check the Tomcats. Oh, where are the Tomcats? Oh, they're all... no, no, they're ages away. They're still not there, and they oh, still have their Christ. fuel tanks on. Fuck no. I look up to see the friggin' Apache. Oh, you'll need that. Empennage fell off, guys. The watchtower is smashing that gazelle. <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> Get some! Worst fight ever. Or best fight, I don't know. All he can do is move around like an idiot. Please, <laughs> Cap. <laughs> I think you've run him out of ammo, so that's good, right? Just trying to return without no, no tail, trying to get a line with the damn tower. Uh-huh. There he is. <laughs> Took some nasty hits there. Right, here we go. Finally, we're... En route for a thing. Oh, they're burning. They're finally burning. They probably realise they've got like 20,000 pounds of fuel left. And they're like, let's go for it. <laughs> I see him coming in. Go on. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Just don't mess it up. That's all. Somebody's live for the And oh, blew himself up. Got smashed. Ladies and gentlemen, damp uh -oh. sock. All that way to blow oh, himself up. Oh, cat on the taxi way. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Um, ready right, viewers, we best, we best cut that out. <laughs> what was that? Good, good runway strike. They took off an hour late and couldn't hit the target? Huh. Change his name to Damp Trousers. There you go, viewers. <laughs> there you go. No, damp still airborne. Yeah, Damp is the only one that, that oh, made it, it out. Oh, damn. Oh, it's the boys then. I take it back. Damp survived. Yeah, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, Damp. Right, when I'm not watching him back for 350 miles, guys, I'll see you. Dom's the debrief. Copy that. Bypass, summary or flights? Uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of this, to be honest. Huh. So, uh, shall we go to the flight? Flight one, punch it. Oh, um, that would be, I think that's me uh, and Harris and the Mirages. Um, yeah, we took off uh, on a cap mission. Uh, we engaged um, a number of bandits. There was some unfortunate friendly fire incidents, so there may be a, a treasure in the Air Force mm. that will have to be rooted out in, future, in a future mission. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we took out a number of aircraft, and then I RTB'd. I don't know what the other guys did. Uh, hello, same flight. Uh, I, went out. I thought uh, Unexpected was going to fly, but uh, apparently with the helos. But I took off by myself, trying to hook up with the two other Mirages, engaged the mid-21, shot him down, then I got shot by someone. Took off again, shot down the mid-21, then I got shot by someone again. Then I took off again, <laughs> got one bandit, uh, went up north, hooked up with the Tomcat boys, then I engaged helicopters, then I didn't see a bandit that got shot in the face. Next flight, please. Mirage 2000s. That was me. Yeah, I think we covered both of them. And next will be yeah. Devil Flight. That, that's you, Cap, I think. Cap. We, yep. we took off. We, as you can see on the screen here, flew all the way around here. We engaged a bunch of SAM sites. We destroyed most of them, but critically left one, which ended up killing chopsticks. Otherwise, we did our job well. We RTB'd. We got intercepted by a MiG. Two of us got shot down. And then chopsticks returned to the Tomcats to help them and got chopped down by that one remaining SAM that we forgot to kill. Um, and that's the end of us. Next group, please. That'd be Hawk. Uh, we took off, headed to the first uh, SAM site. There was a MiG-21 on intercept on us. Stort shot him down. Resumed mission. We launched TOLs. Uh, we launched uh, HAMS. Destroyed multiple Hawk sites. I think we destroyed also the SA-2 uh, launch site because we didn't find it back. Uh, we returned to the Enterprise, rearmed, refueled, went back for a second mission, uh, destroyed some more Hawks, Rapiers, SA-15s, and uh, now heading back to base. Very good. Next flight, please. 
I think that's Damp's flight. I don't know if he's hearing. Yeah, he's not here, but uh, I can just try to brief. So uh, we managed to get to the target area area. almost in time. Um, Unfortunately, we lost on the ingress. We lost Tanky. Um, Three of the 14s made the deep strike. Um, Damp hit the runway, um, me hitting the taxiway, and some of the parked um, aircrafts also destroyed. Unfortunately, two of us got shut down, and uh, Damp is the only survivor and on egress right now. Roger. Uh, next flight, please. That'd be the gazelles. Um, we visited between us all the locations. Uh, most on first pass didn't have any enemies in there, but we eventually got messages from some of them saying that uh, enemies had appeared. So we went round and basically took them out, I think. Um, we had a bit of trouble with a tug fairly late on uh, by the harbour. And um, that we put a lot of rockets into, uh, didn't do that much damage, but eventually a harpoon came in and took it out for us. Uh, Then Bendy went out to the cargo ship where the uh, alley was captured. And that gave us in turn the location of the enemy camp. We flew out there. Bendy, in the meantime, went and attacked the train, which we'd also got a message about. The rest of us uh, went to the enemy uh, training camp and emptied rockets and whatever into it and took a fair bit of it out, did a lot of damage, uh, lost several helicopters. I'm on my way back with a lot of holes in. Uh, the camp is still not totally down, but it is severely damaged. Very good. Next flight, please. It'd be the Air by 8s, but I mean, RT's basically covered it for all of us there anyway. Um, me personally, I landed on the boat, picked up our friend Ali, um, took him back to the FARP, tied him up in a bath, and uh, huh. that's it really from my point of view. I'm going to have a bath with him. Uh, next flight, please. Uh, Huey flight, uh, Kelso, uh, Blight. And Shrek were the heroes of the Hueys. I tended to be a little bit too anxious and got my aircraft too fast. Cooked my own engine and probably killed myself because it failed. Bull was trying to keep up with me, and uh, he followed me in about 30, se- 30 seconds later. But we had fun, and the helicopters really did. I'd say the gazelles... Uh, and the MIH are the heroes of the day, except Blight. Blight did a tremendous job. Roger, is that on my um, planes today? Is that on my planes today, guys? All right. That's all of us, yeah. Bypass, punch it. Okay. Well, after um, uh, so many losses on, on both sides, um, I think uh, both the USA and Iran could do with the truce uh, to recuperate and then plan from there. So that'll be the, the next episode. Very good, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you later. Later, all. Thanks, everyone.